Hey guys, during my GitLab runner installation for Windows, I actually had a little small error that was with my VS Code. I uh, was having a problem saying open in terminal. Normally I like this as an integrated thing and it just pops up down here. But you can see right here that it just um, launches like this. Uh, I don't want this behavior, I want it right here. <clears throat> and I'll show you the re uh, the actual problem why that's work why it's working the way it is. Um, so what we want to do is we're going to go preferences settings terminal, and this is just in case you ever run into this problem. I'm going to post this as a more generalizable thing. So I want to edit these in the settings.json because this is saying terminal integrated dot shell dot windows. So when I had first uh, set this up, I said, hey, look at the git bash exe. Right, well, that's not how that works. <laughs> you do not want that there. And if you go to the actual code, um, not the code, the uh, integrated terminal page for VS Code, uh, this is, I'll just show this integrated terminal. You'll see that they have um, these little configurations like, okay, so how do you configure your shell on Windows? Well, here's for the command prompt, here's for PowerShell, which I think is by default. Here is the bin bash, and then here is uh, bash. Uh, guess, yeah, this is git bash, and this is the bash on Ubuntu. I'm wondering if that is actually the subsystem. It doesn't matter. I, I haven't been really get the subsystem to work well. Okay, so look, I'm pointing this git bash, and that's what's causing this little behavior. All right, uh, so I think. The reason is that this one probably doesn't go to the STD out um, first, which I'm, I'm not entirely sure if that's true. I just saw that on a forum. But I do know that if I switch this up and start saying, okay, cool, let's go and not use git bash exe, and I say bin, and then I say bash.exe instead, and I save that, it loads totally fine so there's something about this one in comparison to this one so that's it that's all i got all right thanks for watching